Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of ES Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to change a ignition coil or module here on the Briggs engine. Anyway, this one's bad, but to show you how to test it. If you don't want to start and you know you got your key on. Where my test go? Up right here. You want to see if it's firing. They make a briar detector or something like this, which I ordered from a small engine shop. You can see it through the window. You take one in, put it on a good ground somewhere that you know it's good. The other end goes on your spark plug wire. Then when you turn it over, <laughs> there's no spark in there, so it say it's sparking. They don't want to stay on very well. There's no spark. So the first thing to do, since we know it's not running, is take it off. Okay. All of them have a wire plug under here, which is your kill wire. It grounds the coil out. You do not put no voltage to that. It's a ground only. What you want to do is, if you can't get to this, sometimes your plug wire runs out your motor and you just can snap it out of here. How about like right in here well this one has got one that hooks up into this wire with your solenoid over here for your carburetor so what I'm going to do is it's already unplugged but runs up under the flywheel make sure it ain't shorting out under there I'm going to just unplug it there to the thing so that unplugged where it can't ground it out that coil's good but that kill wire unplugged it our spark here. You undo the kill wire and it don't run spark, you know the coal is bad. On some lawnmowers, even twin cylinder like this one, it's got two spark plugs cut off your magnetron. And I know it ain't a magnetron. <laughs> I boo -boo. It's magneto. A, it's a magneto. Anyway, you have to get to that. Magneto here. There's still a kill wire on it. This is for a single piston. This is for a tool, dual cylinder or two pistons. Well, but on one like my red line more up there, it's got two separate coils here. It's a B twin, it's got two separate coils for one for each cylinder. And they got a kill wire on them that grounds it out, but it's got a diode hooked in series with it. If that diode shorts out, it'll kill the motor. It won't let it start until you place that diode. Well, so now we have to change coils. But you know to get to this, you gotta take all your top off. I already knew this coal was bad because if you look real close, one it's already blowed out right there, kind of like. And it kind of boiled and soldered right there where it's shorted out. Somebody messed with the wire on this thing and shot bolts through that ground wire I showing you about. Don't do that. So now we got this wire here. It's already got grand wire on it, because it, the key switch and the wiring's all messed up, so this is the only way I have to kill it. So 
when you hook it back up, you have to hook your ground wire back up. But for the time being, I gotta use this one. Some people say it don't make a difference, but I always like to make sure the ends are clean so it makes good contact. And I also like to make sure the magnet there is clean. Some people say it don't make a difference, some say it does. Be your own judge. And this, and you got a certain way to put these on. See, it says this side out. That means it goes up. Kill wire always goes on the bottom. If you flip it over like that, it won't run. So you plug your kill wire up, but I can't plug this one up just yet because I have no way of killing it. And I always like to clean off the post where the screws go so it gets good ground and stuff. Put your screws through and start one. These take a 5 16 or 8 millimeter. I don't tighten them all the way down just yet, I just snug them. And when you tighten them down, you don't want to over torque them and break them or strip anything. So when you break them legs off, you run that motor unless you can find a way to put them legs back on and get it back timed right. So what I do now, set the air gap. I take just a regular business card, paper. You gotta have it loose enough. Put it down there between the flywheel and the thing. The magneto. Turn it around so that the magnet pulls it up to it. But don't force it. Just let the magnet there do the work. See? When it comes around, how it moves it. But make sure that that car is behind both legs. Hold your card in place if you have to, with the hand. Spin it around. And tighten it up. Like I said, don't over tighten it. Then, you move your spark plug or your card. Now, Both to put your spark plug back on, but I'm going to show you here. The spark plug wire, that is. Take it. I know this coil is good because we didn't have it running, so the motor will probably start, but i got to have this wire to kill it, like I said. Normally, you would put your factory installed kid wire on it and hook it back up, or plug it up however it runs. Like I said, you do not put voltage to that wire. It's ground only. So this motor will probably start, but watch that window there. Watch sparks jump. He's electrocuting me. Look on the bright side. At least you know it works. Hmm. You really need a dark spot to do this. It's arcing. I know you can't see it, and I'm sorry, but I uh, just hooked up the spur plug. <laughs> Look real close. You can see it arcing. You really need a dark spot to do that in. 
I'll do it here in a minute. Demonstrate that on the thing here in a minute. Other lawnmower. But to prove this one runs. Remember, it grounds out to kill it. Battery get weak, so I need to charge the battery. Well, we'll go up here this side more, and I'll demonstrate under the shade if we can fit better how that this tester works. It'd just be like a little lightning flash streak. See it there? That's one way of checking it. Okay. Here's another tester. It just uses a neon light, but takes high bolts to set it off. Same thing, so it's kind of like an inline. You put this over the end of your spark plug, make sure the boot's over it, and put this in upside the coil, and that bulb will light up as it's turning over. We have it lighting up. That's the way to test. Got to remember, that's the, that coil I showed you for the twin cylinder come off this motor. So you got to remember, you got two wires. I'd say if one side goes dead, then both might go dead. I ain't never tried it. But then again, one side could be dead and the other could be alive. So anyway, that's how you check your coil wire and set the air gap on motors. Thanks for watching.